section 8.2, Polar Coordinates and Polar Equations. We've been doing a lot of work with graphing, but we've only been graphing in the Cartesian plane. So I want you to take a moment and think about how we graph coordinates in the Cartesian plane. What we do is we have two axes. We have our x-axis and our y-axis both of which are a number line of real numbers. Okay, if we want to plot a point, we can, and the way we plot the point is we give both first the horizontal distance so say we're going to positive 3, and then the vertical distance. So perhaps we're going down to 2. This point is 3, negative 2. So the way Cartesian coordinates work is we always give horizontal and then vertical distance. Now we're going to talk about a different way to plot points. When we're using polar, polar coordinates, we determine location by first radius, the distance from the origin, and then the angle swept out from the 3 o'clock position. So Cartesian tells us how far to go right or left and then how far up or down. Polar tells us how far to go out from our, di our origin and then what angle we take. So let's convert this into what would be in polar. We could construct a right triangle with sides 3 and 2. This means our hypotenuse, C, ends up being the square root of 9 plus 4, which is the square root of 13. So our radius right now is the square root of 13. We could then figure out the angle, this angle theta. And please remember that this vertical height is actually a negative 2. And we see that tangent of theta, which is opposite over adjacent, is negative 2 over 3. So theta equals tan inverse of negative 2 thirds. We can plug that into our calculator. Make sure that you are in radian mode for this. We're going to put this one in radians, or at least I am. And we get negative 0.5 eight eight radians. Whoa. There we go. So this is our angle theta is negative zero point five eight eight radians. The way we then express this point in polar coordinates is root thirteen, comma negative five or negative point five eight eight. And that's in polar coordinates. And this original one was in Cartesian. OK. And so you can use that example I just showed you above for the polar coordinates. It's important to recognize that our radius, the way we determine that, is that we recognize that r is going to be the square root of x squared plus y squared and theta is going to be the tan inverse of y over x. You might want to write those down. Right, let's look at an example of just plotting some polar coordinates. I want you to plot the following points on the plane you see below. Remember that polar coordinates is always written radius and then angle. Try this on your own first and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution.